Hello YouTube, I'm Dennis. Today, I'm going to show you how to downgrade iPhone 2G, I mean the original iPhone, or the first gen iPod Touch to iPhone OS 1.0. So it's basically, this is an original iPod Touch, uh, it's currently running a Chinese knockoff version of iOS 7, but this is actually a 3.1.3's Chinese knockoff version of iOS 7 themed edition of it. As you can see, it's still running 3.1.3 with some uh, slight changes on iOS 7 theme. And yeah, for some reason, my, it's not giving me the background on here. I can just bring this uh, by sliding over here. But I'm not gonna do that for now. I can access the control center from here, but it's kind of hard to do that. Actually, this thing's running slow on Triple One Point Three or any kind of um, <clears throat> any kind of distro distros designed for Triple One Point Three or something other than regular Triple One Point Three, like <clears throat> the oh, this is currently running on White Door Seven firmware. I tested this with White Door 6 too, with, mm, it's running bad on triple, but I tested this run, running on iPhone OS 1.1.5 and 1.1.1 .1. and I have two IPSW files that are required for this process today. But first, uh, you need an I original iPhone, uh, which means the iPhone 2G, which is not 3G, the first gen iPod Touch, it's not the second or third. And you need a machine running Windows XP, as you can see. I have a computer, that's our computer running Windows XP on here with those kind of specs. It has Pentium V820 with 2.8 GHz dual core processor. And now, um, in my Windows XP machine, the iTunes 7 is installed on here, it's, and it's being currently running on window mode. You're going to use iTunes 7 to restore uh, the <coughs> original iPhone OS 1.1. Or 1.5, what do you want? So, let's begin by identifying our device's model number by op opening. <laughs> Whoop! So, now let's begin by opening a Google Chrome tab with typing ipsw.me. Okay, never mind, I'll show it from this phone then. And for now, just I have an iPod. I just have an iPod, so I'm going to the iPod Touch or HomePod section and like it begins from HomePod Mini and Touch 7. Let's scroll down and find the Touch 1G. And yeah, there is just 1.1.5 released on 14 July 2008 and 1.1. And in this video, we're going to use 1.1 firmware to make this, make this all the dinosaur extremely fast. Uh, but actually keep in mind, nothing is supported on iPhone OS 1.1. 1.5 because it doesn't have an app store although even if it still has an iTunes store it doesn't work at all and if you want to use notes uh, make sure you're using iPhone iPhone OS 1.5 yeah so but if if you're really curious to use the original 1.5 firmware go ahead it's, it's not going to create a problem but let's just begin by plugging our device com to computer and yeah, as you can see, it's going to be interdicted. And you can check the iTunes version from here. And as you can see, it's 7. Now let's just put our device into DFE mode. It's just a more advanced version of recovery mode. But it's still going to be displayed as recovery mode. But if you're running an iPhone or iPod Touch or an iPad in black screens, it says recovery mode without any logo or iTunes logo, it should be uh, the DFE mode. So you're going right. First, uh, we need to hold down uh, the power button for three seconds. And now let's keep holding the home button too for eight seconds. Nine, ten. And now let's just release the power button, but we are still going to keep holding the home button. And now let's wait until it appears on the iTunes screen. Oh yeah, something's happening. And yay! Now as you can see, iTunes thinks this, this iPod is currently in recovery mode, but it's 
I'm currently not displaying any kind of image or something, and LCD is not even turning on. So this means the device is put into DFU mode successfully. Now let's put this away. And now we're going to use iTunes. Now let's close this pop-up. And now <clears throat> let's just hold down the shift key while you're clicking restore. Click restore holding by the shift key and then find your IPSW. I'm going to use the 1.1, just the regular 1.1, not the 1.5, but you can use it either. And now <clears throat> it's just extracting the software. It, as you can see, it's just preparing the iPad for a store. It should be show a white screen on the display. This is a good sign. And yeah, with the original Apple logo, it's still <clears throat> trying to verify the IPSW modification, but it's not going to show any kind of bars. And iPhone OS 1.1 or 1.5 restoration. It's going to show uh, a spinning wheel for a while until it completes the restoring process. Now, as you can see, it's been successfully restored, and now it's going to show an iTunes activation screen because, yeah, now this is the screen that shows iTunes, like, it requires iTunes activation lock. First, it's, first it's supposed to connect it to iTunes, but it was, it was already connected, so we don't need to do activation, it's, it was already done because, and yeah, now. Is going to show uh, what should we rename our iPod Touch. I, I'm going to rename it as Dennis's iPod Touch. Now let's click done, and now a screen like this should be appear on your iPod. Now it pop ups with an information that says your iPod contains diagnostic information, which may help Apple improve its product. No personal information is included, so. Actually, I don't want, even though this is a real iPod or this is a genuine iPod, I still don't want to send any kind of diagnostic usage or details, you know. And now, let's just slide to unlock our device. And yay! Now, as you can see, it's fully running iPhone OS 1.1. Um, it was listed on here. I'm so nervous right now, dude. <laughs> Yeah, it's running 1.1 and <clears throat> our lotus version of iOS because it was so fast, but there's some fact that's made me boring about this OS. Like, there's no background, even on 3.3, but it was running a lot faster than before. Like, I think you're watching this video at 60 FPS. Hopefully, catch you guys. See you later in the next video.